a day in the life of a GRC analyst, what I actually did and why it mattered. Hey everyone, I'm John Guani, one of the coaches here at Better Cyber Career. And before I got into coaching, I spent years working as a GRC analyst. Now I know governance, risk and compliance isn't exactly the sexiest phrase in cybersecurity. But can I tell you this? It's one of the most important and stable paths in this industry and one of the most overlooked. Today, I wanna to walk you through what a typical day looked like when I'm working in GRC. Not what the job posting said, but what I actually did, how I managed my workload, who I worked with, the kinds of documents I had to keep up with, and why the role ended up being such a good fit for me. If you're trying to decide whether GRC is the right fit for you, or just want a real look at what the work actually involves, this video is for you. Good morning settling in and getting oriented. As I logged in and got started for the day, my first step was always the same. Take a pulse of what's going on today. That usually meant checking in on our internal tools, maybe our task board in Jira or shared GRC dashboard in Notion or Confluence. I looked through open tickets or active assignments. If we were preparing for an audit, I'd make note of the evidences still needed to be collected and who was responsible for it. Alongside that, I always review our risk register. That document was my North Star. It listed out all the risks that we had documented, how serious they were, who was managing them, and whether anything had changed recently, like a new third-party vendor be onboarded or an internal process that raised concerns. Deep work, documentation, reviews, policy work. A few hours into the morning, I would usually block off some time to focus on deeper work. This is where a lot of documentation side of GRC comes in, but don't mistake that for just paperwork. I might have been updating a data retention policy, reviewing a vendor's security questionnaire, or translating technical controls into compliance language for a shop to audit. Sometimes, I would be reviewing whether access to sensitive systems was still in line with our policy, what is called access control reviews. Other days, I'd be tracking whether the marketing team's new campaign required a privacy impact assessment. This was the work that required focus and precision. And because the role was remote, I have full control of my environment. I could shut off distractions, work from home, or even from a coffee shop without anyone needing to be on my standby. Late morning, cross-functional, collaboration. After that, I usually had a couple of hours of meetings. These were small check-ins with folks from IT, HR, legal, or sometimes finance. GRC is one of the most cross-functional roles in cybersecurity. If we're onboarding a vendor, I'd meet with the procurement to review the due diligence steps. If the security team rolled out a new control, I helped translate it into business context for other departments. I wasn't there to enforce technical changes. I was there to make sure changes were understood, documented, and aligned with our obligations, whether those came from contracts, regulations, or internal risk appetite. These conversations build trust across the business. Over time, people knew if something seems risky, talk to the GRC team first. That kind of soft power is a big part of why I love the role. Pre-launch, risk monitoring, and quick wins. Before lunch, I'd often squeeze in a quick review of our control status dashboard, checking what was in progress, what had gone overdue, or what needed escalation. If a control owner wasn't responding or a piece of audit evidence was stuck, I'd shoot over a message or loop in their manager. This was about micromanaging. It was about making sure no loose threads turned into compliance gaps. And occasionally, I pick off a quick win, like fixing a broken link in a policy document, uh, reviewing privacy clause in a vendor contract, or updating control. These small tasks build momentum and help the bigger systems to stay healthy. In the afternoon, the work varied a lot. Sometimes I'd be helping uh, investigate a minor incident, nothing major but maybe misconfigured permission settings or uh, an outdated tool version we need to document and report on. Other days, I'd be doing policy work, creating a new acceptable use policy, work with legal on refining our data sharing agreements, or helping HR map out train for employees on phishing awareness campaigns. And here's something important. Even though I wasn't responding to threats directly, I was always thinking ahead. What processes do we need in place so that when something does go wrong, we're not scrambling? That forward thinking mindset is what sets GRC apart. As the day wound down, I'd write a quick daily summary, either in our internal systems or uh, as an email to my manager. I'd summarize what I've worked on what was on track and what needed follow-up. 
and any potential issues I was spotting. These summaries weren't long, but kept everyone aligned and showed leadership that GRC wasn't just sitting around in the background. We were proactively steering risk in the right direction. Some of these were busier than others. Some weeks I was buried in policy work. Other weeks I was in the back. Other weeks I was in back-to-back -back meetings for vendor risk reviews. But overall, the role had a rhythm. Being a GRC analyst gave me an incredible clear view of how a company operates. I wasn't just in cybersecurity, I was part of legal, finance, HR, and product conversations. I got to see how everything was connected. And honestly, it was the most balanced role I've ever had. High trust, clear accountability, meaningful work, and the flexibility to work remotely. Manage my time and focus on what matters. If you're thinking about a role in cybersecurity, but don't want the 24-7 alert fatigue, the late nights, or the reactive chaos, GRC might be your path. And if you want to learn how to get started, We've got more videos, templates, and guidance right here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what GRC topics you'd like us to go deeper into next.